The following program contains scenes with nudity, sexuality, and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. One tropical island and four couples separated for 12 days. They live with and date 13 singles of the opposite sex. Their aim, to stay faithful and prove to their partners and themselves that they can resist temptation. I tell you, it's tempting. It is very tempting. There is no contact with their partners, but they do see clips of each other's behaviour. How does that make you feel hearing the girls talk? I'm not even crying. And if she's gone out and done something just because she thinks I've done something when I haven't, then we were, I think we've got serious problems. To be honest. After 12 days, they will be reunited, but which couples will still be together? I didn't want to come because I knew this would happen. I mean, our relationship's in real serious jeopardy. So I really don't trust you at all now. I've risked the most important thing in my life. I wouldn't call this a game. It's not a game. <laughs> the stakes are too high. Previously on Temptation Island, just hours after arriving, Damien succumbed. I've acted as a complete and utter idiot, to be honest. His girlfriend Anna confronted him, and now their engagement hangs in the balance. I know that I've still got to try and win Anna back, but I'm not going to completely block any of the girls out. It's just not me. Helen has finally allowed her guard to drop. I know she wants to end my pants! But is boyfriend Jamie getting in too deep? I'd be lying if I said it wasn't getting more difficult. But it's not getting too difficult, but it is getting more difficult, definitely. Greg appears to be enjoying the game, but will he be made to regret it later? <laughs> and will girlfriend Kate resist the urge to get familiar with surf boy Dan? So far, Adam has kept his word to girlfriend Dawn, but will she repay him with betrayal? The couples have already been on dates chosen by their partners. Today, for the first time, they will choose their own dates. <laughs> I'd probably be, be inclined to pick the ones at the moment that are probably attempting me the most. The girls have a different strategy. I'm looking at it as a way to just get to know all the group. How will these dates affect their relationships? I really don't think about what he's up to. It would, it, it's too painful. And a birthday party at Palmetto gives the girls a chance to let their hair down. At the girls' camp, one bed is empty. One hour later, the single women are at breakfast. Time to call this, boys. Mm -hmm. Everybody this morning? Fabulous. How are you this morning? Yeah. Hello, James. 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 Hello, James.
Hello, girls. Here are your, your men, if you could line yourselves up. <laughs> right then, boys, so far, the girls have chosen your first date. This is the chance for you to pick your dates. There's been a bit of rivalry amongst you. It's a tricky thing to do. So, Jamie, who are you blocked from? Sarah. If you could step back, please. It makes it so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, Jamie, you've whittled down the field. Go and pick a date. Would you like to come on a date with me? I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> I'd probably be, be inclined to pick the ones at the moment that are probably attempting me the most and see how it goes at this stage rather than, you know, back myself into a corner at the end or anything like that. Damien, who are you blocked from? Amber. Amber, if you could step back, please. OK. Pick your first date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's when we dance, I'm not coming home. <laughs> I'll lend you ten for you if you want that. <laughs> when I go on these dates, I don't want no uncomfortable silences, and I, you know, I just want the conversation to uh, flow quite easily. So um, yeah, I'm just just picking the ones I like the most, really. Greg, uh -huh. who are you blocked from? Lucy. Lucy, step back. <laughs> okay, Greg, get to work. Pick a girl. You are sport for choice, so someone wants to get out, someone you like, there's always someone else as well, so uh, no, that's not a problem, really. Adam, who are you blocked from? I'm blocked from Natalie. Natalie. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> well, well, there you go. There you go. It's a, it's a free reign for you, isn't it? Yep. Um, well, you might as well grab a girl. Yeah. <laughs> so you can have fun with just so you can enjoy wherever you end up and just make the most of your date but obviously without getting you into a difficult situation come on girls here they are it's time for you to choose your next date. This date is going to be an activity, so you'll be doing stuff like water skiing, horse riding, things like that. Last time, your boyfriends chose the dates for you. This time, you get to choose your own date. So there must be some lads out there that you kind of... I don't know if fancy is the right word, but um, you, you must have found an attraction to that you wouldn't mind spending uh, a date with. Yeah? Maybe. Yeah. They are enthusiastic, aren't they? Yeah. Cheers, girls. OK. Anna, who did Damien place a block on? Who can you not date? Dan. Dan. Where's Dan? <laughs> oh, no, sorry, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't know your names properly. Will, if you could step back, you cannot date Anna. <laughs> OK. Anna, there they are. You've got first pick, so you've got the best chance Yay. here. Go there, grab your man back by the here. hand and bring him back no? here. I'm looking at it as a way to just get to know all the group. Some of them don't get a chance to speak to you so much because like, they are some more prominent figures in the group that you know naturally take up the attention. Kate? Yep. Who are you blocked from? Um, Spike. Spike. Can you step back, please? You can't date Spike. So, Kate, get out there. Who are you going on your date with? <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You could put me on a date with any one of them. You know, I wouldn't care. It would make no difference to me. I just wish I could date with every single one of them. Helen, who are you blocked from? Mark. Mark, if you could stand back. You can't date Mark, but you can date one of them. 
Who do you want to go on a date with? <laughs> this pack with the boys, everyone's going to have one date. <laughs> So we just sort of systematically working through them. Dawn, last but not least, this has been unfair. They've okay. thinned the boys out for you. Yep. Um, who were you blocked by from Adam? Um, I was blocked from Dave. Dave, can you stand back? Right then. Okay. Pick the man you want to go on a date with. Come on, birthday boy. Straight from mm, we've chosen who we've chosen just because they're not the ones that are always in our faces and we're just giving them a chance to maybe open themselves up and maybe it will like help them just relax. Half an hour before they go on their dates, Greg has a problem. Basically, um, the girl I picked to go on a date with, Holly, is uh, unfortunately overcome with excitement. And isn't feeling too good now, so I'm just going to go up and see if she's OK, and see if she wants to come on it or, or blow me out. I, I'm a bit disappointed because she's, she's a good laugh, but you know, I've got a couple more dates coming up, so I'm sure we can work something out. I thought she, you know, she'd probably enjoy this afternoon. Right, I think it's this one. I'm not sure, we'll go and check. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> Really? Yeah. I know, it's excitement. <laughs> Sorry. I think I've drunk something, some dodgy water, or something kind of like quite a nasty stomach. I just feel really ill. I don't want you throwing up over me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Try. <laughs> she is quite ill. She's taking medication as well, I did check. She wasn't blagging it. <laughs> and, uh... Yep, yeah, we'll go and, uh, grab a reserve. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's my choice. <laughs> Gobby. What are you doing, monkey? <laughs> right, Lucy, how are you doing? Hi. What are you doing this afternoon? Nothing. Do you want to come out with me? <laughs> oh, my second best. <laughs> well? No, I've just had to bring you forward from the next one. <laughs> oh, my God. Cool, man. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Coming up, the couple spend time alone with their dates. Oh, this is just really nice, just out so here. And... The whole week, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't getting more difficult. New relationships are formed. So what did your, um, what did all your boyfriends think when they saw us walking up the beach? His boyfriends. Oh, what? <laughs> Which boyfriends? She's 26, I'm 20. I thought, you know, there might be a possibility that I wouldn't be able to keep her interested. And Greg struggles with temptation. Flirting a little bit too much now, just step back. This program is brought to you by Di Sorono Originale, the sensual Italian liqueur. I have no idea who's gonna win. Miss an episode? America's Next Top Model is on again. Saturday at 10, followed by Sexual Secrets on Life Network. Eliminate me. Do it. Delea, Italian Amaretto Cream. Note to self, keep this hair looking great. Seek professional help without professional price. Introducing Tresemme. Now you can get professional hair care products at affordable prices, like new Tresemme Vitamin E Moisture Rich Shampoo and Conditioner. Your hair is twice as shiny, healthy looking, and vibrant. Funds are short, but brain is big, and hair is shiny. Professional, affordable, new, très aimé. Très aimé, new, très aimé, ooh la la. You can take a bowl of oatmeal anywhere. Quaker Oatmeal to go. The nutrition of a bowl of instant oatmeal in a bar. Available in four delicious flavors. You can take a bowl of oatmeal anywhere. Quaker Oatmeal to go. 
the nutrition of a bowl of instant oatmeal in a bar. Available in four delicious flavors. I used Canestin to cure my vaginal yeast infection. This smooth tablet took care of it comfortably and with less mess. So I was able to get on with my day. Only Canestin has a gently contoured tablet. It cures a yeast infection. Canestin cures comfortably. Hi. I'll just be a minute. Surprisingly frisk. I have an intruder in my house. You don't understand. I'm dating your daughter. <gasps> You're dating my daughter? Now, who would have thought that would be worse news? <laughs> this holiday season. Mom! Did she say mom? The Ultimate the Bachelor. Did you take any Viagra? Deep Viagra. Because I put nitroglycerin into your dress. The combination could be fatal. <laughs> is about to meet his match. <laughs> Something's gotta give. <laughs> In theaters everywhere December 12th. Introducing new La Crema Roy Yogurt's mousse from Danan. A melt in the mouth mousse with a touch of cream. La Crema Roy Yogurt's mousse from Danan. The most dessert of all yogurts. Brought to you by BBC Canada, the best and boldest of British television. This program contains scenes with nudity, sexuality, and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Shark fishing, yeah. Have you been fishing before? No. No, I haven't either. <laughs> Lucy's very easy going. Yeah. Why? She's fun, she's got a lot going for her. Um, got on really well, really well. Actually, I thought you were all going to be real lads and all just up for it totally. Really? I didn't realise there were people coming that actually do care about their girlfriends. Really? Yeah. They sort of defeat the objects of the programme, though, if it just turned into a mass order. Well, I don't know. I thought, would have thought that's what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so you were quite up for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad you guys are how you are. But if we weren't, you'd be quite up for the orgy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what an orgy is. <laughs> Oh, my God. They are choice. Look at that. Calvin didn't have a clue that I was going to pick him for a date. I think he was a bit upset I picked him, actually, because he wanted to um, chill out by the pool. <laughs> that is really <laughs> ugly, isn't it? He just looked like a really nice guy, and all the boys have said, you must speak to Calvin. And he's also very beautiful as well. <laughs> right, I'm getting the willies go on, now. Go on, touch I, one. I was trying to be the big man. Touch yeah. one. Go on, touch one. Trying to sign you up. Um, he wants you. Good. <laughs> Distracted. Yeah, boy. <laughs> hey, I mean, you're, you're attractive, you're fun, easy going. Sort of then there are lots of girls like that. For an orgy. <laughs> I reckon it's my boob chick that got it, actually. I did do yeah, that in my yeah. audition. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. See it again. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm so proud of that. <laughs> They're really strong as well, because I can push them right together. God, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> She's a little bit flirty, and I definitely am a flirt. And it's it's just very easy. So what did your um, what did all your boyfriends think when they saw us walking up the beach? Which boyfriends? Oh, what? <laughs> Which boyfriends? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> ah, date's going well then. Got on the bottom already. That goes straight to <laughs> doesn't it? She's 26. I'm 20. 
I thought, you know, there might be a possibility that I wouldn't be able to keep her interested. Oh, they're just... dreads. Look at my legs. Mm. <laughs> do you not like the dreads? No, I do like the dreads. Oh. <laughs> dreads are good. It's real, real. Like right, right. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, where am I looking? Look at that. Where is it, then? Fucking hell. <laughs> I live with her. She has no light bunny tattoos. Really? Yeah, How does she live with her? Yeah. How I'm, does she know? Oh, very cunning, very cunning. Because, I mean, I'm designing one at the moment that's going to go all over my back. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... <gasps> that's going to really hurt. It will, but it'll be so worth it. I mean, if I could show you the design, you, mm. you'd see it. I mean, everyone that's seen it has said, oh, that's, that's going to look really good. But it's basically like two sort of, um, symmetrical things on either side of my spine. And then 15 Japanese characters going down the middle. What's that say? Uh, it's a phrase that I, I've i used a lot, and it really means a lot to me. It's, uh, it never gets dark in the midnight. Mm -hmm. Calvin's different to Greg because he's, um, he's a lot deeper. He thinks about everything before he opens his mouth. Like, do you really need a life jacket? Have you got a built-in one? I'll tell you what they do do, though. At altitude, they start making squelching noises. Squelching? Yeah, when we're skiing. When I come out of the shower and I put the cream on and stuff. But if this is in March. Let's not do that. <laughs> this is in March. And I was going, I was like this, and you can hear them, you can actually hear them. I said to my mate, listen to this, and they were going. Really? Yeah, inside, because of the altitude. Can't hear them no, can't hear them there. No. I really want to touch it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Good job. <laughs> This guy's a raving pervert. <laughs> I can't believe you said that, Greg. I just said what everyone else is thinking. <laughs> today's been a really good day. I know I'm lucky to, to come out today, but I hope, I hope Holly gets better. She has, she has missed out, but she'll get another go. She'll get a go at Greg, too. Spider. Where? Big. What is that? That's a iguana. A baby iguana? Yeah. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, Is that how they start off like that small? True. Oh, wow. Oh. Are there any tarantulas here? Spiders? Yes. Oh, well, mate, do they drop out Tarantula of spiders? Yeah. See crab right over uh, oh. <laughs> Can I just put my towel over my oh. head and just There's not and do anything else? Yeah. Kate sees a clip of this, it wouldn't look too good. She'll go mental, won't she? No, it's fine. It's, it's all you, just you... innocent. It is innocent. You can tell her the way it is. Yeah. She, she'd believe you, wouldn't she? Yeah, of course. That's very weird. That's what I was thinking last night when we went to bed. I was like, oh, I wish Greg was here now. It's Friday to have in daytime. It's like quite nice to have him here now. I mean, not a funny thing. It's just like someone to like, hug and someone to kind of yeah. just chat. I really don't want to think about what he's up to. It would, it, it's too painful, it's horrible, and, and hopefully he's not up to anything. Hopefully he's just having a really good time. So you were really flat before? Or yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Didn't have anything. So you're a lot happier now? Yeah, I love him. <laughs> I love him. He's <laughs> <laughs> the best thing I've ever done. They're great. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'd have to agree with you on that. <laughs> Sometimes I thought, Hang on, you're floating a little bit too much now. Just step back and try not to, but it's, it's, it is really hard. Well, everyone told me not to have them done because it'd be ridiculous, it'd be ridiculous but, they, but I think they'd fit yeah, they fit me. Yeah, they fit you very well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do. 
<laughs> I came out here with a line, which is, I think, it's acceptable, and I went across it, and a couple of times I thought I got a little bit close to, to stepping over that line, and I had to, I had to take a breath and just think, hang on, no. The date wasn't really my thing. I wasn't really interested in what the lady had to say, unfortunately. It's a cousin to the National Orchid of Honduras. It has a beautiful white flower that opens at night. All right. So teenage acne, it looks like. <laughs> it looks like that. Yeah. Lucy was, from the very beginning, possibly the loudest girl I think I've ever come across. But he's definitely conscious of um, contact. At first, I had to check with him that it was OK for me to put my arms around his waist to hold on for dear life. See this neat crevice in the rock over here? This, obviously, this rock was, <laughs> was one piece, and now it's two. That's a big crevice. It was uh, quite strange looking at big crevices um, in the rocks and holes in trees and horny plants and stuff. So I've never met anyone like Dawn because she wants everything to be together. Mm. She, you know, although I need my time on my own sometimes, she can't see why I'd want to do anything apart. And I've never yeah. known anyone to be quite so intense. I love that. Mm. He was talking about Dawn a lot because he's most at ease talking about Dawn, to be honest. Sometimes I feel he's like, I feel he might be reassuring himself by doing it. Dawn is my perfect, perfect girl. Oh. I asked her out after about three or four weeks. Uh, it sounds really cheesy, but she was beautiful. So I've never met anyone like Dawn. She's gorgeous. I felt like I was about 15 again. He was very good company. He was nice. He was um, he was sweet, and yeah, I had a good time. He still isn't my perfect date. <laughs> Why? Why not? He's not my boyfriend. This program is brought to you by Corona. Miles away from ordinary. We've given Ed 15 seconds to tell you everything he knows about Intime Personal Lubricant. Ed, you're on. <laughs> Intime. Created by a woman, condom friendly, and limited only to your imagination. Experience the extended version of The Two Towers in a special edition DVD. Can you see the bottom? There's a Frodo! New and extended scenes. This city has been reclaimed for Gondor! New visual effects. So Gandalf Graham thinks he has found his Sildur's heir. Crafted by Peter Jackson. He fears what you may become. Exclusively for DVD. Once he takes your of us, never lets go. It's the DVD event of the year. Own it today. Energizer, do you have the bunny inside? The artist who brought us this year's celebrated multi-platinum album, Dance With My Father, now delivers his first ever live album. Luther Vandross, live at Radio City Music Hall 2003. All the landmark hits brought to a new level by Luther at his all-time best. 
Luther Vandross, live at Radio City Music Hall 2003. Available now. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. All the excitement of the year's most anticipated film is now at KFC. Come in hungry to KFC and order our sumptuous Hungry for the Quest meal, our delicious original recipe seasoned chicken, new chicken rings, and much more. You could win a trip for four to New Zealand. You also have a one in two chance to win thousands of other great instant prizes. So get hungry for KFC and get hungry for the Quest. If you think you might be pregnant, it's hard to think of anything else. A clear blue pregnancy test is over 99% accurate. In a minute, two blue lines will appear if you're pregnant and one if you're not. So whatever the result, clear your mind with clear blue. This program contains scenes with nudity, sexuality, and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. I rode last summer once. Okay. It's not someone I'd actually go out with at home, but I thought, you know, I'd get on with him. I, I, I would have preferred to have gone out with him than anyone else. He's from California, so the heat got kind of, he's only been here two weeks. The heat right. was kind of hard on him, so he lost some, some of his hair like you'd get a heat rash. Yeah. So he lost some of his hair. He's just now, you can see where it's growing back in. Looks like it's dying. <laughs> <laughs> Just, if you want to go this way, just turn this one. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> I said as I walked in, one of the horses looked like it was dying, and then it just kind of dropped to its legs. We'll just let him sit a minute. i got to just see to make sure he's not too hot. They're just, like I said, still trying to acclimate to this heat. Yeah, it's still kind of warm for him. Whilst the horse made a full recovery, the date didn't. Then we had to just kind of walk. Oh, well, you just trudging the shit. Did I? Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't to both of us on horses. We just had to walk, and it was like food, trees everywhere. My stock's going to eat the leaves. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh, <fucking laughs> <hell>. <laughs> oh, God. Me and Jamie have got on really well. We've got a lot in common. Um, and he's the sort of person that I would go out with at home. Helen and Dean's date also includes dinner at a local restaurant, but there is a problem. I mean, there's people walking around with their shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, sorry. It smells all right, but it's like, no. No, I can't. don't worry about it. Come on. I'm not hungry. <laughs> I'm <laughs> starving. I just want to eat something I can keep down. <laughs> it was just somewhere kind of the locals were going. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. But I think being like a blonde Westerner, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Oh, this is just really nice, just it's out my here. Part and... of the whole week, definitely. Oh, good. <laughs> Glad I'm here to share it with you. Yeah, no, it's nice, <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I just thought you were going to feel I was such a wuss when I can snorkel. <laughs> I was what? like, I was such a wuss when I can no, go snorkeling. I was like, oh my god. No, this was is, all right, this is, is the start of disaster. 
questions. It was beautiful, it was picturesque. It was a great and lovely moment to share with anybody, especially someone so nice. Oh, God, here come the local. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if you want to experience the Caribbean, you, you go to Barbados, Antigua, St Lucia, Jamaica, you, you don't come here. This, to me, is not the Caribbean. No, but oh, who no else would here. come and eat here? <laughs> no, seriously, it, you, it looks really... Yes. Get out of the it way. looks shoddy here, mate. I'm telling you, it really does look like a piss hole. Refusing to try the restaurant, Helen and Dean head back to Palmetto. Now, just being in this place, it's so beautiful, with a girl, with a, yeah. Mm. And having a girlfriend. Yeah. And it's just me and you now, but apart from that, but it seems yeah, like it's just me and you. Yeah, I'm quite comfortable. Nights like this one, it's such a romantic place. The setting, everything. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't getting more difficult. Very confident with girls. <laughs> Bye. Swim for it. He's very, very shy. He said, "Oh, I never, I haven't had a date in five years," and he's so sweet. I want to see bits. I want to see one foot. Yeah. Pressure's on. Is he going to prove his manhood? Yeah. At the moment, like, it's, it's nice to go out with people you haven't had the chance to speak to quite so much. As good as nothing can do it. Pressure's on now, I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to put you guys off there and have a, have a great trip. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Me and Carly, we get on like a house on fire. There is such an amazing friendship there. And I find that hard to say because I've only actually known her for four days. Got my eye on you, you know. Believe me, I got my eye on you. <laughs> Are you my mum Friday today? I am. So we got the rhythm going on, baby. We got it going. <laughs> My crotch box is kind of wet. When Damien chose me to come on a date, I was really, really pleased because we've got on really well in the time that we've spent together. And I just knew that whatever we were going to do today, we were going to have a good time. <laughs> we get on really, really good. You know, I've, I've got nothing bad to say about her. You know, she, she acts like my best friend, and as I said before, she acts like my big sister. I think that she is the absolute bomb, to be honest. She's a... Good thing! She's got everything that I like in a friend. Side, the same time. Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I love. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Good luck, little one. Rubbish. Rubbish. Yeah. You can do it. When there's 13 blokes or 12 blokes and four girls, you can't really, you know, spend that much time getting to know each other. We're very comfortable with one another, which is really, really good. And I actually think she's one of the best people I've, I've ever met. She was very close, we were very touchy-feely, hugging each other all the time. But Anna knows the way I am. She knows that I'm very touchy-feely, very close with people. And I'm not somebody to stand off if I like them. They say it's got to be the crappiest day. We'll have to try and do something to pick it up now when we get back on my land. OK? Got any suggestions? Uh... We're surrounded by you lot. You are good looking, but we don't go for it till we get to know you. So maybe at the end of the week, 
you know, once we've all got to know people over, like, say, the course of a week or a bit longer, you know, there could be serious possibilities to pe people getting tempted. I think she's really in love with her boyfriend, and I got the distinct impression that I think that she really likes him and she's strong enough that she wouldn't succumb to any temptation. I think Holly just wants a really good friendship. Why don't we have a motor on our kayak? Should have been optional. We hit it off so well, and because we've got this, this little thing of, like, brother and sister thing going on, it's, uh, it's just our way of being friends. I've still wanted to be with my boyfriend more than what I did want to be with those. Whether there was a choice of me being with those or not is irrelevant. I still wanted to be with my boyfriend at the end of the day. She wouldn't succumb to any temptation unless there was some kind of catalyst came from the other camp, such as she saw another tape, and in this tape, her boyfriend clearly had gone further than just a drunken kiss. I'm, I'm obsessed with talking about Anna. Am I obsessed? Yeah, I think I'm just generally interested. I was going to say, I want to know way up my competition, but it's not competition. I'm not really looking for romance with Damien. I'm looking for a friend. As far as the fact that he's got a girlfriend on the side of the island, I feel differently with the fact that, you know, he's given in once, and so there's obviously going to be some kind of problem going on here. Insulting. If she wants more, she hasn't actually shown that she wants more. If Carly was to come to me and say that something more was to happen, um, I don't actually know what I would say. Uh, I think I'd be stuck in between a fence. Because she is an absolutely fantastic girl. And we get on really well, exactly the same way as me and Anna get on. So it may be a difficult situation to be in. Coming up, Greg's struggle to stay away from temptation becomes more difficult. Kate knows me, she knows I'm a flirt, and I've been having a good time, and I just hope she looks at it and thinks, yeah, Greg's having a good time. There's a birthday party at the girls' resort, and Helen gets over the disappointment of her date. Oh, my God, it was awful. It was, honestly, it was an absolute date from hell. <laughs> And Damien explains his relationship with Carly. The boundary of between being friends and actually being, I suppose you can say, lovers, is a very, very thin line. A little quiet word in someone's ear at the right time, I think, is going to be needed from now on. Part time lipsticks need not apply. New overtime lip color. It's color stay. Non stop color. Food proof color. And over the top shine. In one tube. Night and day. In genius. The super shiny lip color. Eight hours of overtime. Bring it on. New overtime lip color. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it unforgettable. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. All the excitement of the year's most anticipated film is now at KFC. Come in hungry to KFC and order our sumptuous Hungry for the Quest meal, our delicious original recipe seasoned chicken, new chicken rings, and much more. You could win a trip for four to New Zealand. You also have a one in two chance to win thousands of other great instant prizes. So get hungry for KFC and get hungry for the Quest. Now through Sunday, People's The Diamond Store is having our biggest sale of the season. For four days only, you can save up to $1,000 on exquisite jewelry throughout the store. That's an incredible savings of up to $1,000. Hurry, quantities are limited. Now through Sunday, at People's The Diamond Store. Experience the extended version of The Two Towers in a special edition DVD. Can you see the bottom? There's a Frodo! New and extended scenes. The city has been reclaimed for Gondor! New visual effects. So Gandalf Greyhang thinks he has found his Sildur's heir. Crafted by Peter Jackson. He fears what you have become. Exclusively for DVD. Once he takes hold of us, never lets go. It's the DVD event of the year. Own it today. 
Maybe you have a hundred and fifty dollars. Maybe you have six hundred and fifty dollars. Maybe you have two thousand dollars. Maybe you have a million dollars. Or maybe not. The program contains scenes with nudity, sexuality, and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> the couples have all returned from their dates. say anything stupid, not to get naked. And so far, I've got very drunk, I've said a lot of stupid things, and I haven't got naked, but I've dressed up as a woman. <laughs> Which is worse, in your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Over at the girls' resort, it's one of the single men's 24th birthday. At the boys' resort, Adam is on his favourite subject. She is in love. I mean, I saw her in person. And... Do you know what I mean, though? It's she just one of those. Like, she's, story she's, she's helped me out so much. Well, yeah. it's, not, it's not the look. It's not the look. It's just the fact that she's helped me out so much. She's been so very... They're all proving their point about the fact that they love their girlfriends, but to be honest, I think they're all going to be tempted in the opposite direction and they're all going to, at some point, do something they shouldn't do. Come on, Greg, you're my date mate for tonight. Because Adam's blown me out. I'm second best! Bastard. <laughs> I'm not really thinking about what Greg's doing on the other side of the island. That's what I did for the first couple of days. And since then, I've really calmed down. I've actually started to enjoy it now. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Jay! Happy birthday! My kind of views on people are changing from when I was first here. You get to know the guys pretty much sort of sitting around the pool, and the more you get to know people, the more you like certain people, and the more other people annoy you.
where I come from, a lot of the girls are extremely feminine and they're quite reserved. So it's nice to see something different. As the evening wears on, the girls lose their inhibitions. The last thing I want to do is Kate to come back and say I've had a horrible two weeks and all the guys were... I didn't get on with any of the guys and it was just a waste of time. It's a good job they put waterproof boots on, isn't it? Oh, oh my God! At Luna, the single girls entertain themselves while the boys get closer to their dates. That would be good just to go there again. Yeah. With me? Yeah. Oh. Definitely. I'm glad you had a good time. Because I enjoyed it. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have picked, you know, I was pleased that you picked me. Right. Out of everybody, because I feel the most relaxed with you. It's been such a long time since I've had such a good film with a girl, apart from Helen, as I'm having tonight, so that's, that's going through my head. Well, we had, we had sex on the beach and then I gave her an orgasm, which was quite good, you know, like... I was following you. Yeah, that's quality. There is no difference between Anne and Carly in my eyes. Obviously, uh, Carly's taller and she's got long, longer legs. But other than that, there's, there isn't a lot of difference. The boundary of between being friends and actually being, I suppose you can say, lovers, is a very, very thin line. And we're actually, we're bordering on that line, but I know, and Carly certainly knows, that it is only gonna stay as a friendship. It's not down to me, to, to, or any of us to look after each other the whole time, but I think a little quiet word in someone's ear at the right time, I think it's gonna be needed from now on. Well, it... Jamie, do you like the I know plenty of girls that would be up for it. Yeah. Kate knows me, she trusts me, so... You know, I have been flirting around, she knows I'm a flirt. And I've been having a good time, and I just hope she looks at it and thinks, yeah, Greg's having a good time. I'm not going to remember this as long as I live. It is getting a lot harder, of course it is. And it will, it will get harder than it is now. But it's just the way you react to it. Me and the TFL gang have made this beautiful set of pants. And the thermospot is just genius. It tells you exactly when to cook to seal in the flavour. Jamie Oliver Professional Series by TFL. Cookware that moves you. TLC, now and forever, the hits, featuring 19 classic TLC songs, including No Scrubs, Unpretty, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, Creep, Waterfalls, and the hot new track, Come Get Some, with Lil Jon. TLC, now and forever, the hits, available November 25th at HMV. HMV, get into it. Imagine one day you realized everyone was imitating you, mimicking your every move, trying to be just like you. Now you know what it must feel like to be the Accord from Honda. Often imitated, never equaled. Maybe you have $150. 
Maybe you have $650. Maybe you have $2,000. Maybe you have a million dollars. Or maybe not. I stand for independence. I know you and your family. I'm part of your community. And I put pharmacy first. I deliver personal, professional health care. And my pharmacy is right around the corner. Not in the back of a supermarket or a mega store. Because I'm an independent pharmacist and we're a rare breed. IDA and Guardian. Independence breeds excellence. Life Network congratulates taking it off on its Gemini Award. This program is brought to you by Corona, miles away from ordinary. This program contains scenes with nudity, sexuality, and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Final happy birthday! Five. Happy birthday! Every one of you that contributes is that the boys only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> oh. Let me carry you, Bob. I'll do my own Superman into the pool. <laughs> As the evening progresses, Anna becomes emotional. <laughs> At Luna, the boys say good night, and Jamie considers his behaviour. I'm not feeling at all guilty about anything I've done. It's not gone beyond the stage of taking things too far at the moment. This is not happening. Okay. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a good good There's a camera. Sorry about it. There's a camera. Yeah. Pain, pain. What? Yeah. Did it, did it, did it, did it. All you guys are painful. La, 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 la. I don't fancy you, la 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 la, and you love your girlfriend, la 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 la. Because you told me to, la 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 la. Coming up on Temptation Island, more singles are voted off. It's not going to be very pleasant, is it, for anybody? And at the bonfire, Kate sees what Greg has been up to. I'm not going to judge him in any way because I don't know the full story. Anna and Damien's relationship faces another test. <laughs> oh, you're so dead. How does it make you feel? Really small and uh, really insignificant, to be honest. Whilst Jamie is surprised by Helen's behaviour. I don't think she'd let somebody do that. You know, had his hands all over her. Are the couple's relationship strong enough to survive another day on Temptation Island?